When we start dealing with our cats at home, we can start telling pretty clearly if there's something wrong. But we have to be attuned to our cats. Cats' noses are usually a little bit moist, not really dry. We look in their eyes and we see that they're bright. Not usually any kind of discharge or squinting because that's usually a sign of problems. Ears for cats are usually erect. And we can look inside the ears and see that they're not red. They don't smell bad. Those are all important things. One of the very important things is dental health. I don't know how clearly you can see this, but my cat does not have plaque or tartar, very, very little gingivitis, and that's because her mouth is healthy and she receives food, which helps control and prevent plaque and tartar buildup. One of the most common problems we see in elderly cats actually is dental deterioration, which can be very painful, even though they might not show it, can be very painful and really deteriorate quality of life. So be aware of that. Keep an eye on your cat's dental health. And just the same as for puppies, we encourage persons to start brushing the teeth of kittens when they're young, when they'll put up with it, so it can be part of a normal process. But be careful. Sometimes it can be a problem to start that if they're an adult. We want to do whatever's safe for the cat, but also safe for the owner. Now looking at this cat, you would never guess that it's missing a hip on the left side. Yeah, this cat was brought to the clinic after having been injured and the owners weren't able to take care of it. So I got to take it. We did surgery to remove the fractured hip and we did a spay so that we wouldn't have to worry about her going into heat and other problems that are associated with unspayed cats. And now she's been a part of our life for years. Time goes by so fast, it's almost hard for me to believe that we're already six or seven years old. Every year we love it. And she's been a good companion for my wife and our children and myself. Only, of course, if we treat her the way she should be treated, which is like a queen. That's positive pets. <laughs>